solve the following pairs of equation by reducing them to a pair of linear equations. Now these are the two sets of equations that we need to solve. How are they different from the equations we learnt earlier? Have you noticed the x, the variable x and y are all in the denominator? In the earlier equations that we have learnt, the variables x and y were in the numerator. However, here they are in the denominator. To solve these equations, we will first separate the coefficient with the variable, which means like this is 1 by 2 is a coefficient and 1 by x is a variable. Now here too, I will separate the coefficient. 1 by 3 is a coefficient. 1 by y, 1 by y is a variable equals to 2. Here also I just put it in bracket. Here too for this equation, 1 by 3 is the coefficient, 1 by x is a variable. 1 by 2 is a coefficient, 1 by y is a variable equal to 13 by 6. So this is the first step to separate your coefficient from your variable. Then you will say let 1 by x be equal to p and 1 by y equal to q. So which means now this 1 by x will be p and 1 by y will be q. Here also 1 by x you will take it as p and 1 by y you will take it as q. So I have 1 over 2 and here you will write now 1 by x so you write here p plus 1 by 3. 1 by y you are going to write it as q which is equal to 2. Same for this one, we will have 1 by 3 and for 1 by x you will write p plus you have 1 by 2 and for 1 by y you are going to write the q which is equal to 13 by 6. Now this equation will turn as p, so here is where you replace 1 by x you put p, 1 by q, 1 by y you put q, 1 by x p, 1 by y q. So now your equation becomes p over 2 plus q over 3 is equal to 2 and here we have p over 3 plus q over 2 equal to 13 by 6. In this first equation we will take the LCM. Since it is 2 and 3, the LCM will be 6 and you need to multiply here now by 3, this also by 3, here multiply by 2, here by 2 also. So we have here 3p plus 2q is equal to 2. I take the 6 on the other side and I get 3p plus 2q equal to 2 into 6. So it will be 3p plus 2q equal to 12. I'll put this as equation 1. We follow the same procedure here. 3 and 2 LCM is 6. So I have into 2, into 3 to make it 6. 2 into 3, into 3. So we, I'll have now 3p plus 3q equal to 13 by 6. Now I can take 1 by 6 common out and if I take 1 by 6 common out this 1 by what would stay behind is 3p plus 13q equal to 13. This is my equation 2. Here's a little mistake I've made it should be into 2 here not 3. Hence this will now become 2p plus 3q. This 2 is not 3p it will be 2p plus q. Now it's time to equate the coefficient. Here it is 3 and here is 2. So the LCM of 3 and 2 equal to 6. For the first that is 3p plus 2q equal to 12. We need to make it 6 so we have to multiply this by 2. So when we're multiplying on 2 we'll get 6p plus 4q equals to 24. We do the same procedure for the next. So 3p plus 3q equal to 13. 
Remember, I need to make it 6. I need to make the coefficient of P as 6. So since there is 2 here, I have to multiply by 3. So this would be now 6P plus 9Q equal to 39. This is my equation 3 and my equation 4. Now the coefficients are equal. See, this is 6 here and this is 6 here. So my equation is ready to be subtracted. So I sub 3. 3 minus 4 or 4 minus 3, you can do any of what you want. So 3P plus 4Q equal to 24. This one equation. 6P plus 9Q equal to 39 is the other equation. Now I need to subtract. Subtract means I need to change the sign. Plus becomes minus right and now we cancel this here 4q minus 9q is minus 5 and this will be minus 15 so q equal to minus 15 minus 5 so the q is plus 3 now the next we got to be since we found the q already now we need to find our p to find our p, we will substitute in any one of the equations. This was equation 1 and here was equation 2. Let us take, take equation 1. Now on taking equation 1 is 3p plus 2q equal to 12. And it is given to us that q is equal to 3. So this q, I am going to put it as 3. So I have 3p plus 2. Remember my Q is 3, so I'll put 3 here, which is equal to 12. So we have 3P plus 6 equal to 12, and 3P equal to 12 minus 6, 3P equal to 6, so P equal to 2. This is my second. So now we have P equal to 2 and Q equal to 3. But if we go back, this was the equation. Remember, we had to find the value of x and y. We don't have to find the value of p and q. And if you remember, we have substituted here. p is 1 by x, and we said q was 1 by y. So for p, I will now put 1 by x, resubstitute, which is equal to 2. So what will x be equal to? 1 by 2. For q, I'm going to put 1 by y equal to 3. So what is y equal to 1 by 3? So this is my answer. x equal to 1 by 2 and y equal to 1 by 3.